So my name is Yuri Malashev and I'm from Mount Sinai Hospital in New York. Pulse field ablation, uh, it's already known so while providing the same uh, efficacy as the RF ablation, it's, uh, it seems to be safer. So it avoids the damage of the esophagus, of the pulmonary veins, of the, uh, of the phrenic nerve. Uh, but uh, as we moved on uh, from the pulmonary veins and from the posterior wall to ablating at the, uh, at the coverture cuspid isthmus, at the mitral isthmus lines, uh, we learned that these areas that are close to, uh, to, uh, uh, to the right coronary artery and to the left, and to the left circumflex artery, uh, we learned that in these areas, uh, pulse field can cause uh, uh, proximity-related uh, spasm of these vessels. As time went on, we learned, so uh, first of all, that this spasm is proximity-related, as I said. So it uh, only happens when the catheter is near the coronary vessel. Uh, we then learned that uh, <coughs> in the majority of cases, this is sub sub subclinical. There are no symptoms, no changes on the EKG, no arrhythmia, uh, and so on. We also learned that uh, pretreatment with uh, nitroglycerin can uh, actually prevent this spasm from happening uh, in, the, in the majority of patients. Uh, but at the same time, we uh, saw that in the preclinical studies, uh, there was a, uh, the, so we saw that preclinical studies, they raised the concern that uh, this intraprocedural coronary spasm can be associated with the um, uh, late onset co coronary stenosis, meaning that uh, we have spasm intraprocedurally, and then later on uh, there was a concern if there's going to be a stenosis which will uh, decrease, the, decrease the diameter of the vessel and lead to all other issues that can uh, be uh, associated with that. First of all, uh, PFA is common and PFA is destined to become the uh, the uh, major modality of for uh, atrial fibrillation ablation. And uh, again, as we move to these areas uh, uh, in the heart that are close to the coronary vessels, so we need to understand uh, what to expect and we need to understand if we can uh, perform PFA uh, near the coronaries uh, just in general, or is it an area that we shouldn't touch by, uh, uh, with, with the, or this is an area we shouldn't touch with uh, pulse field ablation um, at all. For this study, uh, which was uh, all performed in the Hamalka Hospital in Dr. Nuzel's uh, lab, we looked at uh, three previously published studies uh, of patients who had uh, PFA at the, at the CTI uh, and PFA at the mitral isthmus. And uh, all of the studies had coronary angiography uh, performed pre-ablation, during ablation, and after the ablation. Uh, so we knew exactly what was going on with all of these patients and, their, and, and uh, with all of their coronaries. Uh, and uh, so we combined those three studies and looked at the patients who actually developed the coronary spasm d during the procedure. So we analyzed uh, those patients uh, with the repeat coronary angiogram at least uh, six months after the initial pulse field ablation. So the key findings, uh, the key finding uh, was that after a meeting of uh, 11 months, uh, there was no new luminal irregularities, new coronary stenosis, at the site of the uh, previously, uh, at the sites of the previous intraprocedural spasm. So the conclusion of our study is that uh, PFA uh, is not associated with uh, with routine coronary stenosis uh, seen on uh, angiogram. The main take-home message is that uh, PFA still seems to be uh, safe, uh, but knowing this, uh, know, knowing this effect of the PFA and the coronaries, we need to. Uh, know how to manage these patients and how to and how to talk to patients about uh, this uh, this procedure in general. In terms of the coronary vessels, the, the research is still needed uh, to see uh, two things. I would say uh, one thing is the uh, look at the uh, outcomes much later, maybe more than a year uh, <coughs> after the initial uh, PFA procedure, and another thing is to uh, look at the, look at the coronary vessels uh, with more. Uh, detail, maybe with IVUS or maybe with uh, or maybe with, uh, with o o o OCT.